Hey what's up YouTube, today in this video I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak the 4th and 5th generation Apple TVs running tvOS 11.2 to 11.3 with the Electra jailbreak. So big shout out to Coolstar once again for playing a crucial role in creating this jailbreak for the Apple TV. Now along with him, Jay Walker as well as Nitto TV helped out porting the Electra jailbreak to tvOS. Now, jailbreaking the Apple TV is something that has been around for ages, but we haven't seen a recent tvOS jailbreak in quite a while. The latest one was for tvOS 11.1, but as you guys may have gathered from the title of this video, the brand new Electra jailbreak for tvOS supports firmwares 11.2 all the way up to and including 11.3. Now at work on the latest 4th and 5th generation Apple TVs, the 5th generation being the 4K edition. So the support is limited, but it does support the latest and greatest devices running the aforementioned firmwares. Now with that being said, I will keep you guys updated if say a new jailbreak comes out on a newer version of tvOS, so subscribe to the channel if you have yet to and give this video a huge thumbs up if you're excited as I am to jailbreak the Apple TV. Anyway, we'll talk later in this video if it's really worth it to jailbreak the Apple TV, what can be accomplished by it, and more, but first, let's get into jailbreaking. Now, I actually am brand new to the Apple TV ecosystem. Now, I've used them before in the past, but I've never actually owned one myself. So, for the release of this jailbreak, I figured, why not? Let's see what it's all about. So, I tested my luck and went to the Apple Store to see if I could pick up a fourth-generation Apple TV to do this video, and was just praying that it was on tvOS 11.3. Three. And sure enough, I got extremely lucky and was able to pick up this Apple TV brand new from the Apple Store running tvOS 11.3. Now again, you can check which version of tvOS you're running by heading to the settings app on your Apple TV, navigating to general, and then navigating to about, and it will say the tvOS version right there. As you guys can see, mine is running 11.3 with the build number of 15L211. Again, my model is the fourth generation Apple TV, the one that came out right before the 4K edition, but this will work for the fourth and fifth generation Apple TVs running tvOS 11.2 to 11.3. Now, unfortunately, this will not work for tvOS 11.4 or 11.4.1, and just like iOS, you cannot downgrade the software to an unsigned version, and 11.2 and 11.3 are no longer being signed. So if you happen to have automatic updates turned off, or if you knew this jailbreak was coming out and was eventually going to be ported to the Apple TV and you remained on 11.2 to 11.3 and wanted jailbreak, this is exactly how to do it. So nowadays, jailbreaking an Apple TV is much like jailbreaking your iPhone. We're going to plug the Apple TV into our computer, sideload the jailbreak utility with Cydia Impactor, and then perform the actual jailbreak process on device. Pretty simple, right? Well, when I unboxed my Apple TV, I discovered that it has a USB-C port on the back, not to confuse this with the lightning port, which is what iPhones as well as this Apple TV remote right here uses, and that is why they included this lightning cable within the box. I then quickly realized I would need a USB-C to USB-C cable to connect it to my computer. Now this is something that does not come with the Apple TV and you will need to pick this up on the side. Also as a quick note, you may need a USB-C to USB type A cable depending on the USB socket on your personal computer. Example being if you have a Mac with a USB-C port, you're going to get a USB-C to USB-C type cable. But if you're using a Windows-based laptop that only has USB Type-A, you're going to get a USB Type-A to USB-C cable. Again, either one will work perfectly fine. On my personal desktop computer, I have a USB Type-A port, so that is why I use this cable right here. So before we begin with the computer side of things, you're just going to want to plug your Apple TV into your computer. So you won't need to have a display connected while it's plugged into the computer and while we're going to perform this step. All you need to do is simply plug your Apple TV into your computer via your USB-C cable and plug the Apple TV into the wall with its power cable and then you're all set. Now to perform the jailbreak, we're going to need a few things. Again, all the download links can be found below in the description. We're going to need Cydia Impactor, which is for both Windows and Mac, and then we're going to need the actual Electra tvOS jailbreak which can now be attained from Coolstar's official site. It's located right here below the iOS version of the jailbreak. As you guys can see, 
tvOS jailbreak is right here. So with all that in place, with everything downloaded and with our Apple TV connected to our computer, we're going to pop up iTunes real fast just to ensure that we can see our Apple TV within it and that the connection to the computer from the Apple TV is all good. So if you can see your Apple TV here just like this, you're all set. We can quit out of iTunes and go ahead and open up Cydia Impactor. Now, if all goes right, the name of your Apple TV should be displayed right here. Again, mine is brand new, so it's generic Apple TV name right here. But that is all we have to do. We don't have to touch anything within Cydia Impactor itself. We are then, just like with our iPhones, going to sideload this electric jailbreak utility onto our Apple TV by dragging the IPA file onto City Impactor, entering our Apple ID and password, and let the application download. Now again here, I would highly advise to turn two-factor authentication off on your Apple ID and or just create a second throwaway account with two-factor authentication disabled. Now you can still perform this process with it enabled, it just requires an extra step and an extra password. Anyway, in my case, with it disabled, the jailbreak utility is now being installed on our Apple TV. Again, this utility will be used to initially jailbreak and then re-enable the jailbreak after restart. It works just like the iPhone version, guys. The jailbreak is semi-untethered, meaning the jailbreak will have to be re-enabled after restart via the side-loaded utility. Again, just as a refresher, the Electra Jailbreak Utility will be signed to your Apple TV using the free 7-day certificate Apple allots all Apple IDs to produce, meaning this app will have to be re-downloaded every 7 days, potentially. Again, this is just to re-enable the jailbreak. In actuality, you could leave your Apple TV on for months and never have to use this application. The only time you will have to use this utility is if, say, your power goes out, if you unplug it to move it to a new location, or if you just have to restart it for whatever reason. And I really don't see this being much of a problem. From friends, I've heard this tvOS jailbreak is much more straightforward and painless compared to the iOS version. It should not only have a much higher success rate when initially jailbreaking and re-enabling the jailbreak, but it will be just as stable as the Electra jailbreak is for iOS, but for your Apple TV. All right, so the next step of jailbreaking is now long overdue. To proceed, we are going to head over to our Apple TV now. So now would be the time where you can disconnect your Apple TV from your computer, unplug it, and go set it back up in your living room as we're done with the computer side of things. The rest of this process can be done on device. Thus, you will need to connect your TV or display back up to your Apple TV right now. Alright, like I said, you guys wouldn't need your Apple TV plugged into a physical TV during this step of sideloading this application onto it, but this is what it looks like for those that are interested. The Electra app just appears on the Apple TV home screen. Now, unlike with iOS, we don't have to trust any developer certificate. We can actually go ahead and just enter the app directly. So again, once you're at this screen, you'll see a big Electra icon right below that. It says jailbreak and it says compatible with tvOS 11.2 to 11.3. It says brought to you by the Electra team and Nitto TV. And again, for those of you who don't know, we'll discuss this in a second. Nitto TV is essentially like Cydia but on tvOS. It's the tvOS version of Cydia. Anyways, let's go ahead and hit jailbreak and see what this process looks like. Now, I wanted to be fancy and get this all with a screen recording, but unfortunately, for whatever reason, whenever I had my Elgato game capture card connected to my Apple TV while going through the jailbreak process, it would fail. But the very first time, I disconnected all that extra hardware. The Apple TV and the Electra jailbreak utility successfully went through the jailbreak's first step. Again, this is just like the iPhone version, guys. You have to run the utility twice in order for it to successfully jailbreak and install Nitto TV. The first time, it will just say rebooting. And then the second time, I actually set up my camera this time to get this on film. It will say steps one out of three, two out of three, installing Nitto TV, and then it will go through a couple resprings as you guys can see on screen now. So again guys, this is my first Apple TV that I've ever had and I'm so happy to say that I can actually use it jailbroken. Now once the utility finishes up, it will say open SSH running. When you click exit the device, now we'll begin a couple resprings. I wasn't quite expecting it to take quite this long, but honestly, it worked perfectly fine on the first attempt when everything was disconnected from it. Again, I think the first couple mishaps were entirely because I had my Elgato recording software set up. 
because once that was disconnected, the jailbreak process went off without a hinge. And once we're finally done, we will be taken directly to the Nitto TV app. Again, this is the third party app store on the Apple TV. This is essentially what Cydia is on the Apple TV. You can take a look at featured packages to install different games, multimedia, and utilities. Now, the number one thing that I suggest you guys to install immediately after jailbreaking is this utility right here, which blocks OS updates, so you will never lose your jailbreak. Again, just click install, and it will go through a quick installation process. And once it's done, this is what the utility does. When you go to try to update it, or if you accidentally somehow manage to turn on automatic updates, no matter what, it will not allow you to update your Apple TV to a newer software version. But as you guys can see, this third-party app store allows for a ton of customization and some awesome things to be done on the Apple TV. For example, installing Flappy Bird. Now that's just one example. There are probably endless possibilities. Again, I'm not very familiar with the Apple TV or with this jailbreak. So again, I will probably be doing a follow-up video to this one letting you know how my experience has been with this jailbreak for the Apple TV and all that can be done with it. Sadly, it does not improve my skill at Flappy Bird. Anyway guys, that is how to jailbreak the fourth and fifth generation Apple TV running tvOS 11.2 to 11.3 with the Electra jailbreak. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, if you just thought it was interesting, or if it really did help you out jailbreaking your Apple TV. And of course, subscribe to stay updated on future videos related to this, more Electra jailbreak related videos pertaining more so to iOS, the latest jailbreaking news, and more guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video again, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.